so let's in fact uh, get to the understanding of the isro's uh, spadex mission that in fact has been put very well here to be explained the pslv a uh, c60 has uh, been lifted off at 9:58 pm at the uh, ist on 31st of december from shri shri hari kota where in fact this was also widely captured this is isro's spadex mission that has been explained as just a few points viewers on 31st december this was launched from lifted off from shri hari kota then the pslv c60 uh, was deployed to identical satellites that was the sdx01 and the sdx02 within 15.2 minutes of the launch the two satellites were deployed right in that adjacent region while we in fact move ahead to understand it furthermore the each satellite weighed around 220 kg the weight of the satellite is currently standing at 220 kg and both are orbiting at 470 kilometers above earth both the satellites the sdx 01 and the sdx 02 are orbiting around the earth at 470 kilometers above the aim first of this isro's spadex mission is in fact at this point of time while we are also looking at the details coming at this point is the first aim is to demonstrate the docking and the undocking cap uh, capabilities between the two satellites where the second aim is to attempt the two dock satellites orbiting at the speeds of 28000 kilometers apart from the capabilities of orbiting around each other to demonstrate the docking and undocking the key requirements are that both the satellites must be maneuvered to reduce the relative velocities to 0.036 km per hour this is in fact the data that we have gathered as per the understanding and also puts out in fact a comprehensive understanding of what the spadex mission entails to how essential that is and what is in fact uh, the entire mechanism through which it has also been launched the first objective of the spadex mission viewers is the two satellites which are designated designated as the chaser and target will merge to form a single unit that is in fact the main understanding and lies in fact at the core of how to understand this the second objective is performing precision rendezvous and docking maneuvers this is in fact uh, pertaining to these two satellites which are going to form and merge into a single satellite third is to validating the power transfer between docked and spacecraft operating payloads within a two year lifespan while there are in fact many aims and objectives of this mission that has been in the preparation for a long time let us also understand what does docking essentially mean what is space docking to begin with it is a process of bringing a spacecraft to, together in orbit two spacecrafts to be brought up into an orbit is what docking essentially means while it involves a series of precise maneuvers to achieve the control and stability between two vehicles two separate spacecrafts to be merged into one orbit and to bring them together is what docking and it allows for the assembly of the large space station transfer of the crew and the supplies this is what in fact it then results into and then enabling the astronauts or the robotic systems to refuel repair and upgrade the satellites in the orbit this is for the enhancement as per the scientific name nomenclature and the understanding this is what it exactly does extends the astronaut or the robotic system to extend the lifespan and reduce the space debris essentially it further leads in to reduce the space debris it is also essential for the transferring sample samples and collected from the other celestial body very essential point for the transferring of the uh, uh, particles that have been uh, collected from the other celestial bodies is what the docking uh, mechanism yields to the first key step is uh, rendezvous uh, where two spacecraft to approach each other in the orbit gradually reducing the distance which is what we are also understanding and we are going to put it forward through the enhanced visuals to actually understand of how the docking system is looking like and this phase requires the precise and calculations while the maneuvers to ensure a safe approach this is a very technical and a very precise a uh, manner in which this entire activity is 
uh, to be undertaken and once the spacecraft are in close proximity of each other they establish spa stable connection. This is in fact uh, the, ma the manner in which uh, both the SpaceX mission and the orbits in which these two spacecrafts have been lifted off have been prepared to be designated in a manner that this uh, the proximity of these two spacecrafts are near and the proximity when is near they can establish a safe connection. This is in fact uh, the step 2 that we are also talking about how the process of the docking is undertaken. This is done using docking mechanisms such as clamps, latches or berthing rings. These are the mechanisms through which the process of docking can be used. This process often involves a series of soft contacts and adjustments to align the vehicles. This is how the process gets into the being. The spacecraft may further integrate and the opening hatches to allow crew and crew transfer. And after the integration, the crew and the transfer of the crew does happen. This that is under the part of the key step 3 which involves the additional procedures such as leak checks or to ensure a safe environment as well. After the integration the leak checks are yet another point where the docking system is also very essentially to be carried by. The relative while now we should must uh, look at the challenges which get involved and which in fact the scientists also have to face while the docking is underway. The relative velocity between the chaser and the target spacecraft must be near zero. This is the scientific reason of when the process can be aligned. The distance between the chaser and the target spacecraft must be controlled very carefully. These are also the conditions through which the space docking is carried out and undertaken very precisely. Is and the third challenge if the relative velocity is too high the docking attempt can fail and causing damage or collision. This is one of the consequences if the process of docking does not take place properly. If the velocity is too low in another case of contrast it may take up too long to complete the approach which could lead to fuel inefficiencies. These are some of the challenges and apart from that we hope to make you understand viewers how exactly the space docking aligned with the challenges can potentially be a very crucial step for the understanding of what this ISRO SpaceX mission entails to. All right. Now my colleague Belly Thomas is joining me for, for more in fact Belly. Very good morning. Now we are talking about the SpaceX mission satellites, satellites close into 3 meters in trial and ISRO to take a call on the final docking soon. What are the updates that you are picking up in this regard on 31st December that was in fact the day when from Sri Harikota it was lifted off. Uh, Sibrin, um, uh, it, it is a uh, giant leap for uh, the ISRO uh, to um, make uh, you know uh, uh, this um, uh, possible. The docking, which was uh, scheduled earlier on uh, January 9th um, uh, between the two satellites, uh, the target and the chaser, uh, did not happen as uh, when they uh, um, uh, drew closer to around 225 meters, uh, there was uh, unexpected drift that happened between them and uh, um, uh, and uh, due to poor uh, visibility that set in uh, the um, uh, the docking um, experiment had to be aborted and then uh, um, again these two satellites would uh, go back into um, uh, you know uh, into their orbits um, uh, circling the earth but uh, now they, uh, they uh, the attempts of uh, maneuvering uh, these two uh, uh, satellites uh, closer to each other has attained um, 15 meters and uh, like you uh, uh, like you said uh, at 3 meters where uh, the video monitoring system uh, would um, uh, um, uh, would come into um, uh, you know uh, come come into active mode and uh, the, the satellites would uh, click uh, pictures uh, of uh, each other. So that's what we uh, saw from ISRO that um, the um, the stunning images that uh, that has been captured uh, by these uh, two um, uh, uh, two satellites that are about to be docked. So um, uh, when these satellites are getting closer to about five meters, the um, the autonomous uh, docking. Uh, uh, 
system initiates and uh, uh, there on uh, everything happens uh, uh, you know in an automatic uh, 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 automated manner and uh, um, uh, like you rightly point out there are chances that uh, you know uh, th there are uh, consequences um, whether uh, you know the docking um, uh, positioning um, uh, should be correct and the latches and um, uh, uh, the uh, the the latching uh, as such would uh, would happen um, um, uh, you know proper uh, they are assessing on um, uh, the drift uh, drift as such and uh, uh, these two satellites uh, like you said uh, was carried by uh, the PSLV C60 on uh, December 31st from Sri Hari Kota where it was put into an orbit um, 470 kilometers from the earth and it um, uh, has been traveling around the earth with a velocity of around 28,800 uh, kilometers per hour and it, it is at this speed that uh, you know these two satellites have to be have to have to be you know drawn um, uh, closer that is uh, uh, the, the chaser would go near uh, the um, target and uh, it would get uh, docked so at present the isro um, uh, uh, kind of um, have attained um, uh, the maneuvering of these two satellites within uh, a distance of uh, 3 meters where these two uh, satellites are uh, definitely at the line of sight and uh, the automated uh, docking um, system uh, would be initiated and uh, uh, in any time from now um, the docking process uh, uh, can um, can be uh, achieved um, uh, uh, if the uh, situation if uh, there are favorable uh, conditions up there uh, simran well all right belly thank you for in fact adding these